Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Amen. Habari ya asubuhi. Kwa wazima. Kwa mzima vile vile nampenda Bwana. Amen. Nashukuru sana. Amekuwa mwaminifu. Mama karibu. Karibu sana. Yes, Amen. Uh, karibuni katika ibada ya asubuhi ya leo. Bwana mwaminifu. Amen. Thank you so much praise and worship team for the tremendous job for the good work that you are doing in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Jeremiah before I bring the word let me just say, uh, share the scripture there. Uh, kabla nilete mafundisho neno tu mstari mmoja mahali pale naamini kama mtabarikiwa. For the sake of the praise and worship team you are really a blessing. Amen. Amen. And I pray that the Lord will lift you even more. The Lord will favor you even more. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 23. Uh, oh my God, I love what's happening here. Kuna mioto ziko mahali hapa. God is setting some people on fire. Amen. Kuna mioto roho mtakatifu sinainuka mahali hapa Mungu anatufanya mioto ambazo zitatumikia na kuharibu kazi ya mvua shetani Isa I mean Jeremiah 23:29 The Bible says that is not my word like fire this is God speaking this is the Lord speaking that is not my word like fire Amen Jeremiah is being told this that is not my word like fire declares the Lord. And like a hammer that breaketh a rock into pieces. Amen? Kwa hivyo Mungu anasema kwamba je, neno langu si kama moto? Fire that sets men up to worship him. Fire that that moto ambao unachochea, unaosukuma wanaume kwa wanawake kuinuka na kuifanya kazi yake. Amen? Siku ya jana tulikuwa hapa na kuna watu ambao walikuwa na niliona watu ambao hata hawana haraka ya kuondoka people are, are like can you just spend a night here to kwetu hapa mpaka asubuhi bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo unakunuka kama kuna kitu ndio kipekee ambacho mungu anakifanya katikati mwetu mungu anainua watu na kuwapa karama mbalimbali katika uh, nyumba yake haleluya mungu anaweka moto ndani yetu moto kufanya kazi yake moto kutumikia moto wa maombi moto wa sifa moto wa kuabudu moto kufundisha neno moto wa kufanya kazi ya Bwana in general. Haleluya. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. We bless God for that. In 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 Isaiah in, in the book of Psalms uh, chapter 104 verse 4. The last part says that uh, God make these servants to become flames of fire. Amen. So this morning is my prayer that someone is being made a flame of fire. Praise Jesus. Haleluya. The other time I was here I was telling you that sometimes you cannot serve God effectively if there is no some fire of the Holy Spirit manifesting in your life praise Jesus lazima kuwe na mioto ambazo zinachitokeza there must be a manifestation of the fire of the Holy Spirit in you for you to be able to arise and serve God effectively praise Jesus kwa hivyo ni kitu cha baraka unapoona watu ambao wanachitoka mapema kwenda katika nyumba ya Bwana wakuwa na moyo na ari ya kuomba mbele za Bwana ni baraka that's the way to go amen that's how we should do it that's how we, we should behave that's what is expected of us by God amen kanisa bwana asifiwe nataka tufundishane kidogo kwa muda mfupi tu i want to share something special here that uh, i hear the lord directing me i hear being compelled in the spirit that we need to share uh, this word this morning na mimi nataka kuamini kwamba nitakapokuwa namaliza nikiketi chini kuna kitu ambacho Mungu atakuwa amefungua macho yako kuna mahali ambapo Mungu atakuwa amekuinua there's a place that God will be lifting you once again hallelujah amen uh, i want us to share about seeking uh, God's favor. Amen. Amen. Kutafuta kibali cha Bwana, seeking God's favor. Us as believers, 
Hasa si sabato. Sisi kama wateule wa Bwana. Sisi kama watumishi wa Mungu. Sisi kama wachungaji wa Bwana. Kwamba tu hata ambao tunatafuta kibali cha Bwana katika kazi zetu. Katika huduma zetu, katika maisha yetu. Amen. Because when we are favored of God, we shall be able to go far. Amen. Hallelujah. Seeking God's favor and its benefits in our lives that uh, is of great importance. Ni muhimu sana kwamba tu watu ambao tunaomba kwa Bwana, tunamlia Bwana kila wakati kwamba atupatie kibali chake. Kwamba kibali chake kipatikane katika maisha yetu. Katika chochote ambacho tunakifanya in all that he touches our hands on to, in all that we do that may the favor of God be within us. May the favor of God be found in us. Hallelujah. So we need to pray, brethren, that he gives us his favor in this life that we are living. Even as we seek him, even as we serve him. If you have God's favor uh, church, then we shall always be at the top. Amen? We shall always be at the top. And someone said somewhere that when you are at the top, you become what? You become the topic. Hallelujah. You become the topic. When you are at the top, you become the topic of the day. Praise Jesus. Karibuni sana. Walamba wana ingia. We are learning the word of God here. Amen. Uh, and we are sharing about seeking God's grace, uh, God's favor. Unapoangalia ile jina favor ama kibali cha Bwana uh, katika uh, uh, Kibrania wala ambao wasome Biblia tunaambiwa kwamba in the original Ibrania ama I mean in the in the, in the writings of the, 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 the Hebrews kwamba neno hili linamaanisha grace. Amen. So when it's translated into some other languages like English and so many other languages inakuwa kwamba is termed as favor. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So to some level to some extent uh, favor is same as grace. Praise Jesus. Amen. So when we hear someone talking about or speaking about God's favor in his life upon the servant of God what is that exactly? That's what we want to learn this morning. What, that's what we want to understand this morning. And I know by the time I'll be done, God will have deposited something in your life, in your heart. Amen? In your spirit. Praise Jesus. Ni ya muhimu kwa ba tukamilia buwana kila wakati katika ibada zetu, katika maumbi yetu kwa ba mungu akatupate kibali. I know most of us we have what it takes. Most of us here sinu watu wabatu mesaidika, mungu wabatusaidia. We are blessed of the Lord. That's a fact. Amen? We have all it takes. We have gone to school. We have good papers. We have materials. Amen? That's true. Na hiya ina shida. We come from good families. Better families. Families that are well up. Amen? We come from bigger uh, in royal families. Let me say that. Lakini, mbali mambo haya yote, tukikosa kibali cha mungu katika maisha yetu, wapendwa, tutenda kungangana. Amen? At some point, you will have to struggle. Even in your marriage, even in your ministry. We have gone to Bible schools. We have been trained on how to do ministry. On how to be great ministers. On how to, to be great speakers. Praise Jesus. But, juu ya mambo haya yote, mbali na mambo haya yote, tunayoka nuka mulia buwana kwa mba katupa tenini, katupa kibali katika maisha yetu. And then, favor of God is so important in the life of a believer. Praise Jesus. And the opposite is true. Unaposikia kibali kuna pia kukataliwa. Ama unaposikia kukubalika kuna pia kukataliwa. Amen. Siku mshai waona watu ambao wamekataliwa ama watu ambao wana wana face what we call the spirit of rejection. Or have you ever once been there? Ushai kuwa mahali pale. Roho ya kukataliwa. Ushai chukuta katika katika hali kama hiyo. Ni hali ambayo ni ngumu sana katika maisha ya muaminio. Amen. Hallelujah. Na we have people in our midst. Kuna watu katika katika familia zetu ambao wanapitia jambo hili. Wana hiyo roho ya kukataliwa. Unakuta kwamba hata wale ambao wame, wame, 
wamemzaa kama ni mtoto kijana kama ni mtoto wa kiume kama ni is a son in a home even the parents who brought him or her in this world at some point they are like ah 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 mtoto wetu hatuna kama atakusaidia kwa kuchokesha bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo kuna kundi kama mtu huyu kuna roho ambayo inamwandama na inaitwa kama ni roho ya kukatelewa spirit of rejection bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo katika maisha ya Mkristo wa leo usipokuwa mwangalifu unaweza kukuta mahali kama hapo Najua ni kitu ambacho wengi wetu watapata kukijua ama alichofundisha kukihusu lakini asubuhi leo Mungu ndiye maana nasikia kwamba tukazungumzie jambo hili amen uh, the, the god was helping me to get some understanding some revelation concerning this thing kwamba we need to pray and ask god to give us the spirit of favor to come to his favor in our lives amen in, in, in is it in philippians the bible says that uh, we, 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 we do not have because we do not ask Amen. Eh, hey, kwamba hatuna sababu atuombi. Atupate sababu atutafuti. Lakini tunapoomba, tunapotafuta itapatikana kwetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Amen. Amen. Uh, in the book of Proverbs tuanze kwa uh, nadhali Proverbs. It is favor that attracts things to come our ways friends. When you hear someone testifying about the favor of God in his life someone is sharing someone giving a testimony that I'm in favor of the Lord and this man of God this man is a great man of God the favor of God is upon him what does that mean exactly you know maanisha nini na hichi kibali ambacho kinazungumziwa mahali hapa kinapatikana aje so favor opens doors favor will promote you to levels that you never even imagine of amen Favor promotes men. Favor uh, pulls great things. It's favor that pulls things into your way. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh ni kibali ambacho kinafanya mambo ambayo pengine tu kwa yafikiria. Unakuwa tu mahali pengine unakuwa mahali either kwa mfano kama mahali pa kazi, kazini mambo mengi mahali unafanya kazi ama in an institution. Na unakuta kwamba yote yote ambayo unatafuta msaada kwake ama popot ama yote ambayo unakifanya kinakubalika sio jambo la kawaida. Ile maana kama kuna kitu ambacho kipeka ambacho Mungu ameachilia juu ya maisha yako. Haleluya. Ni bwana angalia the story of uh, the, the Genesis Golia. Amen. Najua wengi mmemuona. Anaitwa nani Bradley. Amen. That that tall guy. Bwana asifiwe. Huyo kijana ya watu ninasema kwamba ni kibali tukimemwangukia. The Father of God has just located him. That guy I was trying to look at him and I was like This guy does, does not seem to know much. I leave you kujua mambo mengi. Lakini unaona kwamba kila mtu anampenda. Watu wana everybody want to associate with him. Everybody want to be close to him. Everybody want to make him brand ambassador of their products. Amen. In their companies. The guy is signing contracts. Why? Because there's something that's located him. And that's what I'm talking about this morning. Amen. The favor of God. Hallelujah. Kuna mtu kibali. Kuna ule mwingine ambaye alijitokeza the other guy from Bungoma. Amen. <laughs> Na ukiangalia hawana tofauti kubwa vile. Lakini watu wamekuamilia tu kwa huyu. What is so much special? Ni nini cha muhimu watu wanaona katika huyu kijana ambaye yule mwingine pengine? And they the same size, the same body, uh, stature. Amen. They almost same in everything. Bwana asifiwe. Ile maana kwamba there's something that's located this guy. There's something that has come upon the life of this young man. Bwana asifiwe. There's an, an advert he was trying to do alikuwa ame anaifanya sijui kuhusu sanfla is it taifa something of that kind na ilipo mwangalia the way he brings out that advert was like this guy is not even creative huyo jamaa simbonifu haiko lakini kuna watu ambao wamemkatalia tu amen the guy is traveling the guy is anabeba na magari makubwa anafurahia maisha to some extent some levels haleluya bwana asifiwe na unapoulizia unakutoka kwamba unaambia kwamba alikuwa tu hapa is it country bus akipaka paka magari mahali pale alikuwa tu makanga wa kawaida leo hii ni mtu tofauti bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo ina maana kwamba kuna kibali cha bwana ambacho kimemwangukia amen proverbs uh, uh, chapter 11 proverbs chapter 11 verse 27 the bible says he that Diligently seeks good procures favor. Amen. So uh, 
That's one way in which we secure favor. That's one way in which we bring favor or we attract favor into our lives. Amen? That he that does what? Mkopale. He that diligently seeks good things. He that diligently does good procures favor. But he that seeks evil it shall come unto him. Bwana sifiwe. Kwa hivyo yoyote ambaye anafanya mambo mazuri, yoyote ambaye anatafuta vitu vizuri, yoyote ambaye anatafuta amani, anafanya amani na watu, yoyote ambaye anapenda watu, yoyote ambaye anafanya amani, yoyote ambaye anabariki wengine, yoyote ambaye anaombea wengine, yoyote ambaye anainua wengine kwa na kuweka mahala pa juu. Ndio sababu kwamba he procures what? Favor. That's one way in which you are able to attract favor into your life. Praise Jesus. Amen. And that's in the Old Testament. When you go in the New Testament, uh, you, 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 you can check on, on Galatians chapter 5. Amen? Galatians chapter 5 verses 22. You realize that favor or, or, or goodness, because we have been told, he that seeks good, he that does what is good, procures favor. Now, in the, in the New Testament, in the New Testament, you realize that goodness is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. When I say few Hey, Mama, uh, Mama, Mama, being good to people, doing what is good. Ama, 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 kuwa mtu mwema ni tunda na roo mtakatifu. Katika agano GP. Mwana sifuwe. Kwa mana, kwa hivyo ni manisha kwa mba, kwa hivyo roo mtakatifu mungu, yuko na limu hako. If he dwells in you, this is one thing that we shall be able to, re- to, to see in your life. And we acknowledge and we nakuruwa kwa mba huyu, roo wabwana yuko juu yake. Na mwajwa wabwana matuna ya roo mtakatifu, ama roo wabwana, ni kutena mwema ile mazuri. Mwana sifuwe. Sia watu ambao, kazi yao ni kuenesha umbea kanisai kazi yako ni kuleta mtafuru katikati ya wapendo kanisani. Haleluya. Kazi yako ni kuuruka wengine. Kwa kusesha wengine eshima, kwa kusesha wengine eshima. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Favor. Favor is a good thing. Favor will open doors for you. Favor will make you travel. Favor will take you places you have never been. Amen. In Revelation, the Bible says that I know that I have opened a door for you that no man should be able to do what? To shut. Amen? Kwa hivyo, kipali cha mwana kinapo shuka jua maisha yako, wame kinapo patikana kina maisha yako watu wa mungu. Utafraia, utabarikiwa, au tenda kungangana. Kwa sabu, the fact of God is upon your life. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Amen? Kuna wakati minu na sikia watu kisabu kamba sometimes Uh, it, it appears as if favor is unfair. When I say you have you heard of such like statements that favor is unfair? Because sababu mtu anaona kwamba either amekuwa mahali kwa mfano like in a workplace, bali mtu anafanya kazi and and you you are in a certain department na kuna watu ambao wako juu yako. Na watu hao unapata waangalie na kutuma these people not have much. Pengine whatever you are having let's say in terms of academics. You are even much better than them lakini wamepewa kibali wamefanyika kwamba wakuwa wakubwa wako wamekusimamia amen that they are seniors praise jesus na unapoangalia na kuna kama ni nini kimeke nafanyika wakati mwingine unaweza kujiuliza maswali lakini unafaa kuona kwamba pengine mtu yule ni kibali cha Mungu kama yakifanya nini kinaachiliwa kipatikana katika maisha yake amen ah uh, i work with indian the Indian people, the Indian guys, these Indian companies. Na mojo wapu ya 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 kila mene mechifuza kupale ni kwamba these guys, hata ukifanyi kazi na wao, au hata watamui makatazi yako. Yu wapu, kwa fano pekini umeenda shule, you have a degree, you have a diploma. Yu hata yuwasumbui sana. Bwana sifiwe. Kila mene wanaangalia ni kwamba, are you able to deliver? Are you honest? Are you hardworking in whatever you are doing? Unakaa kuwelo kila mbeja unafanya. That's all they look on to. So any time you are able to show them you, are, you, are that, you, you, you prove to them that you are able to deliver, that you seem to understand whatever you are doing, then they will give you that chance. Amen? They will promote you. They will elevate you even in a senior position. Amen? Amen. Mwana mwana kazi kuna jamaa mmoja bae nikawa na ambuwa kwamba ui jamaa is a senior sales executive. Na unapu chungusa inesemikana kwamba He came that company when he was still so young, I said, just, just from high school. Na, kuna wezikana kwamba ajeheza kwenda ata shule ya yota ambayo, he has never been to any institution of higher learning. Amen? But now, he has been promoted because 
there's some favor in his life. Which I'm not sure about Nagusa. The guy is able to make serious sales. Then as fewer. Kila kama napo kuna napo kuwa na 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 award na kukapa moja kwa sababu kuriward. Wala ba mifanya vizuri. He's always at the top. Why? Because there's some favor that's upon his life. Praise Jesus. Amen. So in a zakana, in a zakana, same kama masomo ni kitu kibaya. Ni vizuri watu wa wende shule. Ni vizuri wa msomi. Amen. It's, it's, it's a good thing. But again, education only is not enough. Amen. Masomo pekeka hitoshi. When it's a sifiwe. So, may the Lord help us. The book of Exodus kutoka tatu. So, may mstari mmoja pale na kina bando parikiwa. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3 verses uh, 21. Exodus 3.21. Bible says and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. It shall come to pass that when you go, you shall not go empty hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This God speaking to Moses and he's telling them that I'll give these people I'll give this my chosen one I'll give this my beloved one favor in the eyes of the Egyptians in the eyes of their enemies kwamba chochote ama watakapoenda kuondoka mahali hapa hawataenda mikono tupu amen so god favors his people the bible says that uh, uh, he honors those who honor him he honors them too amen kwa hivyo unapo mheshimu Mungu unapo mtumikia Bwana unajua kwamba Mungu pia atakuheshimisha na unapokuheshimisha utapata kibali Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa pamoja kanisa so God makes the Israelites uh, or gives them favor even in the eyes of their enemies that's imagine you are in an, an alien land you katika inji inji ya uhamishoni katika inji ya wenyewe na Mungu anakupatia kibali katikati mwa maadui zako Bwana asifiwe si ni jambo nzuri ni jambo la baraka. This is a blessing. Amen. Kwa hivyo tunapoomba tunapenda mbele za Bwana wapendwa nataka tukakumbuke kumlilia Bwana kwamba Lord give me your favor. May, may I be favored. May I found favor in your eyes. May I found favor even in my ministry. May I found favor in my marriage. Hallelujah. May I found favor even in, in all that I do. Praise Jesus. Kwamba ukanenemesha tu Bwana na kulilia kwa mungu anipe kibali. Haleluya. The book of Romans 15 Warumi 15. Even for that for us who serves in the pulpit, for us who are ministers of oh, in the, 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 the vineyard of God. We need this favor. Tunahitaji kibali sababu tunaweza kufanya huduma ya Bwana bila kibali. Kuna watu wanafanya huduma na unapoangalia vizuri kuna kitu kinakosekana. Ama katika ile huduma kuna hali ya kungangana. Kuna kuna kuna, kuna misukosuko za kila aina. There are all manner of, of storms in those in those ministries. Hallelujah. And they seem to be struggling so much. Some of them they are giving up. Tumeona wachungaji wengi sana wamefunga makanisa na kuondoka. Amen. Wengine hata wameamua sema kwa sababu kwamba nitakaa tu nyumbani katulie. I don't want to go or to, to, to come closer to anything that is maybe call a church. Praise Jesus. Sababu kuna kuna hali fulani wamekumbana na hali kuna kitu wame kimefanyika katika pengine say wamekataliwa wame mahali fulani na ikakuwa vigumu kwao kuna watu ambao ukiwa kama mchungaji ama mtumishi wa Mungu God can call Mungu anaweza kuita katika mwito huu na kupatia watu ambao utaenda kuwaongoza na usipokuwa mwangalifu utapata kukataliwa na watu wale amen you found yourself being rejected with the same same people that God has called you to help them God has called you to lead them haleluya romans 15 Romans 15 tuone mtumishi uh, Paulo uh, apostle Paul is telling us something there yote ambayo kwa pale as I told you warumi 15:30 Romans 15:30 mwalimu i love your swahili version amen Sasa niki pasa sauti. Biblia inasema. Amen. Ndugu zangu. Yes. Na wasii kwa Bwana. Amen. Wetu Yesu Kristo. Yes. Na kwa upendo wa roho. That one that I may be delivered from them that do not believe in Judea. That 
my service which I have for Jerusalem may be done what? May be accepted of the saints. Hallelujah. Now this Paul anaomba maombi kwamba akasaidiwe katika hali ya maombi. Kwamba ameitwa ndio anachukumu ndio amepatiwa Yerusalem. Ana kazi ambayo angependa amfanyie Bwana. Lakini mbali na hiyo yote. Amen. Kwamba wamsalimu maombi kwamba mwito wake ama kazi zake zikaanza kukubalika katika Yerusalem. Haleluya. Nataka kuamini kwamba Paulo akilena maneno haya kuna kitu alikuwa ameelewa. Kwamba sometimes it's not about how much you understand or how good you are. How able are you to speak fluently? Amen. How we call them great uh, the, the orators. Haleluya. That how good are you? In that which you are doing. Wakati mwingine tu ni kibali cha Bwana ambacho kinatuwezesha. Amen. That when the favor of God is upon you upon what that which you are doing that which you have committed yourself unto at the you will see fruits you will succeed at the end of it haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo paulo anasema kwamba niyekeni katika maombi kwamba kazi zangu zikafanya nini zikapate kukubalika hicho ni kitu ambacho nilikuwa fahamu tunaomba asubuhi ya leo kwamba tunafanya huduma katika katika karne ambayo ama katika nyakati ambazo ni ngumu sana we are serving god in the end times Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Na wakati mwingine mambo yanakuwa ni mengi. Kumekuwa na aina kila aina ya uchafu katika uso wa dunia. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna kila aina ya pingamizi, kuna kila aina ya zuizi. Lakini katika mambo haya yote sababu Mungu ametupa kichwa ambacho kinahitaji kwa ajili ya kazi zake. Amen. God has given us almost everything that we need. Praise God. Hallelujah. So what we need to pray more is his grace and his favor. Hallelujah. Kwamba Mungu akazidi kutupatia that may we increase in his favor. May we increase in his grace that we may be able to do relevance. Hallelujah. That we may be able to succeed in that in which we are doing. Katika mito zetu, katika uh, kumpenda Mungu, katika jamii zetu, katika ndoa zetu, katika biashara ambazo tunazifanya kule nje, katika uh, kazi ambayo Mungu ametubariki. Kwamba tunapopata kibali cha Mungu tutaweza kuinuka hata zaidi. Hallelujah. Na tukafanya faida kwa ajili ya mwili wa Kristo. Praise Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo Paulo pale analia mbele za Bwana kwamba akaombewe kwa Bwana. Akaombewe dua kwa Bwana kwamba akapate kuombewa kwamba kazi zake zafanye nini? Zikapate kubalika. Amen. There are so many analogies, there are so many examples in the Bible concerning this thing or this matter favor. Hallelujah hapo malizia tu na haja nisome maandiko mstari uh, mmoja miwili hapa in the book of genesis genesis 39 we are in a bible study and here we learn the word of god amen we study the word of god god is land amen yes. that's one way that's how we get to understand him that's how we get to know him that we give ourselves into the learning tunajifunza kumjua mungu hallelujah uh, genesis that nine mwanzo 39 tutasoma mstari mmoja mahali pale 39 verse 4 verse 3 tuanze mstari wa 3 mwanzo tuko pale genesis karibu sana brother gabriel amen genesis 39 verse 3 bible inasema kwamba and his and his master saw that the lord was with him and the lord made all that he did to prosper in his hands Amen. And his masters and his employer and his king and his leader saw that the Lord was with him. So when the God is with you, you will be favored. Amen. Amen. And all that he did, all that was given, all that was put into his hands, he prospered. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mstari wa 4 nasema kwamba and Joseph found grace in his sight and he served him and he made him and over he made him oversee over his house and all that he had all that he had he put into his hands and joseph found grace in the house of potiphar amen because potiphar saw that the lord god of israel was with him there was something unique with him with joseph in his life na akapata kibali majoni manani mapotifa 
Na chochote ambacho ule mfalme ama Potiphar alikuwa nacho alifanya nini? Akakibana. He left all, he put all in the hands of Joseph. And then imagine huyu jamaa hata si kwao. He's in a foreign land. Ameuzwa kule kama as like a slave. Bwana sifiwe. And the guy grew much. Alipanuka kainuka akawa governor in that land. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si ni kitu cha baraka sana. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So so uh, I was saying that favor is like a magnet that just pulls things onto your way. Wakati mwingine hata unaweza kuwa mahali na watu mtu akajitokeza ama watu fulani wakajitokeza na wanataka wakakusaidie. Wanataka wakubariki pengine kwa mfano kama ni hela wanataka kukupatia ama mtu anaweza kusaidia na, na, na hela. And you are like man of God ama brother sister I'm okay niko sawa lakini yeye tu anangangana kwa mfano nini akupatia ama kubariki na na, na, na zile hela mbona sifiwe na unaporudi unakaa chini hapo angalia vizuri kuna kwamba god has just favored you amen si kwamba ule mtu ambaye anakupatia ako navyo ama ako vizuri sana lakini kuna kuna nguvu fulani kuna kitu mbiki na msukuma tu kwamba fanye nini akubariki ama akupatie kila ambacho ako nacho bwana sifiwe na hata wewe pia unapokuwa mahali pale unapenda unakataa unaona kwamba uihitaji sana lakini anafanya kukusukumia ama ni kama anakulazimishia bwana Yesu asifiwe haleluya kwa hivyo ina maana kwamba kibali cha Mungu kimefanya nini kiko juu yako kimekushukia praise jesus praise the lord na hicho ni kitu kizuri sana ambacho tunafaa tukitafute kama washirika kama kama wateule kama waaminiwe kwamba tunapokaa chini ya kibali cha Bwana mtembee katika kibali cha Bwana maisha yetu itakuwa rais hatutaenda kusumbuana na watu hatutaenda kungangana hatutaenda kuumia sana Haleluya. Atenda kuvunjika mioyo na kufanya nini? Kurudi nyuma. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo Yusufu akapata kibali. Na vyote ambavyo vilikuwa katika ile ufalme vilikuwa katika mikono zake. Na hata unapoangalia uh, uh, kana mama uh, anaekelewa makosa na mke wa Potiphar, Potiphar's wife. He sent to prison. Kule prison bila kule katika gereza pia. Tena anapata kibali katika macho ule usimamizi wa gereza. Amen. Haikuwa kawaida ilo si jambo la kawaida. Tuzo za coincidence. Amen. Alikuwa jambo la kawaida. Ni kibali cha Mungu ilikuwa inamwandaa. Kwa hivyo sisi pia tunaweza fika mahali pale. Sisi pia tunaweza tu experience kitu kama hicho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The same God that was making it happen for Joseph is still alive even today. Amen. And he can make it happen for us who are serving him in this century. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. The same spirit that was helping Joseph is still is here with us. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. So as I have said, the favor of God will make you go places. Amen. The favor of God will open doors for you. The favor of God will 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 give you businesses ideas. Will will, will give you those those who are signing contract itakupatia mikataba ambazo pengine huko haifikirie kwamba sinaweza wamo unaweza ukasipata bwana asifiwe kwa sababu Mungu amekuangazia haleluya bwana asifiwe kwa moja kanisa kwa hivyo tunapomaliza mahali hapa nataka najua kwamba kila mmoja utaenda mbele za bwana mlinge bwana mwambie bwana god i pray father lord help me i pray that god grant me your favor help me to grow in your favor oh god amen because favor will make us achieve attain that which may be seem to be impossible. Kila mmoja pekee ile inaweza ionekana kwamba haitawezekana. Mungu kibali kinatufanya nini? Kinatuwezesha tukianza kufikia. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. And sometimes favor is not just given. Amen. As we have seen in in, in, in Proverbs, favor is not just given. Favor is not for the one that sits down and waits favor is also earned amen kibali pia kinatafutwa hello amen favor is also done what is also earned tumeambiwa katika madhali kwamba whoever seeks good anayetafuta uzuri anayetafuta mambo yale mazuri anayetafuta kufanya amani anafanya nini anapokea kibali kwa hivyo it means that favor is also done what is earned you don't just sit down and wait kwamba utapewa a uh-uh. a Lazima ukifanyie pia kazi. Bwana asifiwe. 
Hallelujah. There are so many people that were favored the things of God and you have seen when you go through your Bible you can be able to see that in the, in the book of Ruth, Ruth chapter 2 sita soma pale lakini uh, uh, Ruth chapter 2 Ruth chapter 10, Ruth chapter 13 the book of Esther Esther uh, uh, chapter 2 verse 17 you can know those scriptures down when you go home unaweza soma mahali pale na mimi najua kwamba utabarikiwa haleluya favor is found or favor is sought and is not just given there are those things that are given but there are those things that you must give yourself to pursue them there are those things that you have to go after you have to seek after for them to be granted unto you praise jesus Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo unapodumu katika mahombi, unapoenda mbele za Bwana, unapomtafuta Mungu kwa mapema, unaporauka mapema asubuhi katika nyumba ibada, mtafuta Bwana, unapodumu katika 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 utakatifu wa Bwana, in the righteousness of God, you are seeking favor. When you give yourself to make peace with every man, as the Bible suggests, as the Bible says, as the Bible teaches us, you are seeking favor. And it shall be given unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. Nataka tukasome the book of Luke. Napomalizia uh, Luke nimesema kwamba unaweza soma Esther 2:17 at your own free time. Unaweza pia kujisomea uh, Samuel Samuel chapter 2 andika tu mahali. They speak about favor. So because the interest of time I'll not be able to read them. Uh, uh, but I read Luke. Luca Luke mtakatifu Luke chapter chapter 1 Amen Tuko pale Luke chapter 1 uh, mstari wa 20 na ngapi 28 tusome tu mstari mmoja pale tunapoenda kusimama kwa ajili ya maombi kwamba Mungu akatusaidie kwamba kibali hichi cha Kristo kikapatikane katika maisha yetu. Waja tusome eh, nafikiri chapter 2 of Luke. Chapter 2 of Luke. Maandiko yanasema kwamba and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. Amen. So it simply tells you that even our Lord Jesus Christ needed this favor. Luke chapter 2 verse 52 that he grew in favor he grew in wisdom he grew in stature also but of the three he also grew up in favor with who? with God and men so tunakuwa katika kibali amen it might be there but you need also to increase you need also to grow into it bwanisa sifiwe hallelujah kwa hivyo mungu atusaidia Mungu atusaidie. Waje likawa ni ombi la kila mmoja wetu. Waje likawa ni kilio cha kila mmoja wetu. Tunapo fanya kazi ya Mungu kwamba atutende katika hali ya kungangana. Atutende katika hali ya mikongano. Atutende katika uzito wa mioyo. Atutende katika hali za kushindwa. Lakini kwamba Mungu akatupatie kibala bila kuhitaji kwa kazi yake. Amen. Mungu akatupe kibala bila kuhitaji kwa ajili ya nini? Kwa ajili ya maisha yetu kama utumishi wake. Haleluya. Jambo hili uh, Daudi anapoandika Zaburi Arbaini na moja, aliona Alishudia Amen, Psalms 41 Saburi, uh, Daudi alipata kuliona Na akatibitisha kakundu kwa mba God is favoring Ama the favor of God is upon his life Amen uh, uh, Let us just confirm that scripture Psalms 41 Verse 11 Psalms 41 11, manu kwa samu by this I know that you favor me. Amen. There kuna matukio fulani ambayo ilikuwa imetokea katika maisha ya Daudi. Kuna mambo fulani ambayo ilikuwa imeonekana katika maisha ya Daudi. Kuna ngazi fulani za Mungu alikuwa amempandisha Daudi. Na Daudi akawa anaangalia kwa umakini. Daudi akawa anachunguzwa kwa umakini. Daudi akawa anaifuatilia kabisa. Na akafika mahali akatamka akatangaza kwamba by this I know now that you favored me. Amen. Inasema hapo pale mwisho kwamba because my enemy does not do what that does not triumph over me. Hallelujah. So it means that favor, the favor of God also protect us. Other version says, my enemy does not, or they do not overcome me. Awa japata kunishinda. Ama wajapata kuinuka saidi yamu. Wanesu wa sifiwe. 
Kwa hivyo Daudi akaona kwamba kuna kibali ambacho Mungu ameachilia juu ya maisha yake na tunamfanya kwamba kila wakati anakuwa mwenye kushinda. Kwamba wanapompangia njama, maadui wako wanapoinua kinyume na maisha yake, ufalme wake unapopikwa vita kwamba Mungu anampatia ushindi. Kwamba Mungu anamtetea, kwamba Mungu anamwezesha kuwapiga maadui wake na kuwadawanya. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. So the fame of God also does what? Protects us. It sets us far up haya kibali kinatuinua juu kuliko maadui zetu naweka maadui zetu wanakuwa chini yetu katika jina la Yesu haleluya tusimame tuka miguu zetu kanisa let's all stand up let's remember that when god releases his favor unto us it is for the advancing of his kingdom amen kama mungu anapotupatia kibali mungu anapotupatia neema ya kibali chaga katika maisha yetu ni kwa ajili ya kuendeleza kazi yake it's for us to use that favor to advance the work of god amen because that's one of the most one of the things that god or one of the reasons why god blesses men kwamba bia anatubariki ili kwamba tukapata kuendeleza kazi yake tukapata kuinua kazi yake kila wakati haleluya so any time when god will release that and i know that god is going to release his favor upon someone's life this evening this morning haleluya kwamba Mungu anaenda kuachilia kibali chake juu ya maisha ya mtu mahali hapa siku ya leo katika ibada hii unapoenda kuabudu na kuomba kwamba kuna kibali ambacho Mungu anaenda kuachilia Mungu anaenda kuachilia bibali tofauti tofauti katika maisha yetu katika huduma hii katika huduma yako katika kazi ya mikono yako katika bipao zako za kiroho kwamba Mungu anapoenda kuachilia bibali kukumbuka kwamba it's for the advancing of his kingdom it's for the purposes of his work Amen. Some of us we are being given we are going to be given uh, favor uh, financial breakthroughs. Bwana asifiwe. Mungu anapotupatia uh, kibali cha kifedha, unjua kwamba anakupatia fedha ili kwamba you can become a kingdom financial. Haleluya. Ukaweza kuidhamini kazi ya Bwana. Sio kutumia kuringia wale ambao pengine una, unaona kwamba ni maadui zako ambao wale ambao unaona kwamba pengine hawakupendi. Lakini unjua kwamba Mungu amekupa kibali, Mungu amekuinua mahala pa juu ili kwamba ukapata kuendeleza agenda yake. Haleluya. Praise Jesus. That's one of the reasons why God favors us. Kwa hivyo, nataka tu mtu aende mbele za Bwana kwa dakika moja tu. Mimi Bwana kwamba Lord, I pray that as you have seen in your scripture, as you have seen in your word, as you have spoken unto us this morning, that Father Lord, favor me O God. Release your favor upon my life. Release your favor upon all that I do. Everything I touch is my hands unto Lord I pray in the, in the humility of the heart katika unyenyekevu wa moyo kwamba Bwana ukaachilie kibali chako kwamba Bwana nalilia asubuhi ya leo katika mlimo wako Bwana katika madhabahu yako Jehova mtakatifu watakatifu kwamba Bwana anakuomba kwamba Jehova usiniache ni hurumie ni hurumie Bwana ukaachilie kibali chako Bwana majeshi juu ya maisha yangu kwamba nisiende katika hali ya kumangana nisiende katika hali ya upweke nisiende katika hali ngumu kwa Bwana ukaachilie kibali chako juu ya maisha yangu kibali cha ndoa kibali cha watoto kibali cha kufanya faida kibali cha huduma kibali cha maombi kibali cha kuona neno lako kibali cha kupanuka kibali cha kifedha katika jina la Yesu Kristo Yes Lord Yes Lord we worship you Lord we love you God we bless you thank you for the reading of your word of God for the thank you for the revelation of God And so Lord we want to declare and decree that the word has told us oh God in the book of Luke oh God chapter 2 verse 52 that your son Jesus Christ was able to increase in favor with you and the men of the word of God for the Lord our praise this morning that may increase your church oh God may you grow us oh God in your favor oh God and in the favor with all men of oh Jesus Christ oh yes Lord yes Lord help us oh God tusaidie bwana mabwana tusaidie bwana mabwana tuinue bwana katika kibali chako tunaemeje jehova tunaemeje jehova bwana mabwana mtakatifu atakatifu tukuhitaji jehova oh lord may you favor your people favor your servants favor your church oh god favor your congregation oh jesus favor your gathering oh god favor this house oh lord tunaemeje bwana wengine wetu natafuta ndoa natafuta wachumba Watafuta watoto bwana mabwana watafuta falme financial breakthrough watafuta bwana mipawa za kiroho jehova watafuta divine empowerment oh god lord how we pray lord release your favor 
release your favor, O oh God, that we may advance in your work, O oh God, that we may advance in our kingdom, O oh God, for the purposes of your kingdom, O oh God, for the purposes of your work, O oh God. Oh, release your favor, O oh Lord. Let your favor, O oh God, pursue our life. Let your favor, O oh God, rest upon our lives, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We love you, O God. We cry for your favor, O God. As you say, favor your servant, O God. David declares and he says, O Jehovah Lord. In the book of Psalms, O Lord, 41, O God. In verses 11, O Jehovah Lord. He says, And now I know that the Lord he favored me. For the Lord I pray this morning. O stand for the of your word, O God. That may you favor your people, O God. Come on, to take you behind. People who shoot at Jehovah. Katika mlima wako mfalme kama tukapate kusimama siku moja tukapate kuinuka Jehovah na tukashuhudia tuseme kwamba Bwana umetunemesha Bwana umetupatia kibali habari baba ni ndefu sana safari baba ni ndefu sana nionee huruma nionee huruma nionee Mazito sana ni onewuruma Mazito sana ni onewuruma